Hello there, Dr. Stenberg here. As we continue our trek through the organs of the body and particularly from a, a self-healing point of view, the things that you can do holistically to help yourself from a nutritional, mental, emotional, spiritual aspect. And uh, last week we started on the glands of your brain, thalamus, hypothalamus, and today we're doing the pituitary pineal uh, glands and their hormones and uh, we're going to go through that and see what we can find out. Okay, hang on now. Now your pineal gland makes hormones that tell the pituitary gland what to do in running your body. Uh, known as the third eye because of its connection with vision in lower animals and uh, those of you who are metaphysical know about it as being part of your intuitive uh, mechanism. Uh, and it regulates brain hormones uh, sunlight exposure and is definitely connected with the Earth's electromagnetic field. Uh, there's been a, a lot of scientific work done on the EMFs and uh, orthodox science too and it's uh, showing that these EMFs do affect our body and uh, there's been research that shows a connection with breast cancer here and other problems in the body. So. Uh, Taking care of um, the pineal gland because it so often develops underactive function because of these factors uh, is very important. So, the uh, usual connections with the pineal are with the sexuality and with um, time related cycles like menses and sleeping and waking. That's why uh, melatonin has been used uh, to help with sleep because it's made by the pineal gland. I've also seen in many patients a connection with the throat and with singing. And people and, uh, who have uh, singing problems, uh, often it's a pineal gland problem. Also indicted in helping with graceful aging. So these are these common symptoms that go along with it. And uh, accelerated aging, tissue de degeneration has been connected with it, low healing, low sex drive, etc. And so what can you do to help yourself is the question. The holistic aspects of it. Mental stress is often found internalized in the pineal. And emotional stress, this is where we find emotions like feeling victimized or annihilated. That type of uh, very strong negative emotion locks into this pineal gland and interferes with its function. So if you've gone through such stress, it must be identified and removed. Nutritionally, uh, there's sometimes you can access a pineal extract made from beef, uh, which is very useful for carnivores, but uh, carnivores and vegetarians both would benefit by dong quai or go to cola herb taken for a month or two to help rejuvenate the gland. Taking melatonin uh, in some ways does help uh, the gland to uh, start making more of that substance naturally, but uh, taking care of the stress is the key. So, now let's move on to the pituitary. Now your pituitary gland, as I said, controls most body functions and attaches to the brain via the hypothalamus that we dealt with last time. And the common symptoms you see there, headaches behind the eyes, rather classical, fatigue, impotence, a lack of menses, bags under the eyes, pain in the base of the skull or the neck, low blood pressure, etc. A pendulous abdomen, cold extremities. So it can interfere with many parts of the body because it makes hormones that affect almost everything. So what can you do to help yourself? Hang on a moment. Here is the crux of the matter. Whenever you've gone through emotions of humiliation, embarrassment, shame, this is where it's first internalized in the pituitary gland and it will interfere with the function of the gland. So you need to identify who gave you these emotions and do written releases of them and uh, hopefully you've already looked at the uh, unconscious emotional show that we did uh, two or three shows back. In addition, nutritionally, pituitary extract for carnivores is quite available now, made from beef. And for veggies, parsley, black cohosh are excellent in this regard, which you would take for a month or two. 
and would help tremendously as long as you take care of the emotional stress and the mental stress and uh, that's what uh, the pituitary needs. Now if we refer to a Touch for Health uh, chart from the Pasadena organization, uh, it's the central meridian in acupuncture that has connections with pituitary and pineal and there's a muscle that we find to be weak uh, invariably when there is a pituitary or a pineal problem and this is it here, it sits on the top of the shoulder blade and interferes with your arm motion. Once the uh, gland has been corrected then the muscle goes strong which is a basis of applied kinesiology. Whenever I show you an acupuncture chart I'm reminded that acupuncture is a very valuable tool for bringing your different uh, organs and their acupuncture circuits into balance which does aid your healing. The things you and I are talking about in this uh, group of uh, classes is that the mental and the emotional, the spiritual and the nutritional things are what throw acupuncture circuits out of balance thereby requiring you to need the acupuncture or acupressure to give you more balance and more vitality. So, and the acupuncturists I've treated all agree that this must be so, and is so. And certainly we find it to be true in applied kinesiology. So that gives you uh, a little video introduction to uh, the pituitary pineal. And in the next show, we'll be going on to do the spiritual body. And all the things that you need to be looking at in your spiritual life to stay in spiritual balance because the spiritual body can make you ill just like anything else in you whether it's mental or emotional or toxicity or whatever the spiritual body is a very potent force within you whether you believe in God or not it doesn't matter but we'll get into that next time in the meantime be sure to uh, check in with the website drstenbeck.net dr Stenbeck, and uh, you can check into all these things we're talking about and most particularly, you can take advantage of uh, give me one uh, particular health issue you have and I'll be happy to give you some complimentary feedback on it. If you have something more complicated, we'll have to do an online consult. So there we are for now. I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, so stay healthy. Bye.